reloading. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we made it. We just had a, a few technical hitches with the phone not wanting to turn around, so we've had to switch phones at the last minute, log in, log out. <laughs> oh my God, we were all organised. So Come over all hot, <laughs> hot and bothered. Having a hot flush. <gasps> I haven't even got my pint. Oh, I, I have. got a mug of Coke. And, honey got... Barbara, look. We've got one each, but mine's each in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> That's organised. And Paula said black makes me look thin, so I'll be wearing this forevermore now. Eating, sleeping, Should be whatever. <laughs> so cheers. Yeah, cheers. Good to see you. So, paint a pint. Week number two this year. It was, yes. great. It was great to be back. Oh, oh so good. We had, Honestly, good we had such a laugh. I was laughing for ages. I'm so proud of feedback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was a Thank very you. bothersome week, it so bothersome thanks week. for laughing with us and not being all offended. Hi Mary, you found us, fantastic. Hi Reed. If you're watching this on replay, hashtag replay so that we know you joined us. Mm -hmm. And feel free to share the love, share the post out if you like Do it. Do share the love. That's always cool. Because we like new people coming to see us, don't we? Yeah, yeah. we're a friendly lot. We are. We've got some exciting news coming for you. A bit later on we'll wait till a few more of you have popped on but we've got some exciting news that we we've have. been working on we're yeah. always up to something new so what are you up to today well i'm gonna say happy anniversary to you first oh. of all yeah love is in the air i got married on valentine's day to hubby obviously in 2008 so it's 11 years mm -hmm. yeah that'll make it 11 years but you've been together twice that long 23 yeah yeah not bad not, not bad not bad. He's put up with it that long. My daughter said to me last night, you're so romantic, getting married on us. It's the only, re the only reason is that it's the only way that he would remember the date. <laughs> and he said... That's a good enough reason. If everyone's birthday was on Christmas Day, I'd be sorted. Because <laughs> those are the two Please days do. I can remember. It's true. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, I, I get it. I'm going to get glasses on. I've got my glasses. I will be able to see We've with glasses at this distance. We've had to set the camera a little bit of distance away to be able to get both of us in. But, oh no, that's not helping much. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> no, can't read that, sorry. But any comments we can't read, we will get back to, you know that. Um, right, what am I up to? I have managed to land myself this gorgeous set um, consisting of a wardrobe really and nice. a dressing table. And um, they're, they're beautiful. They're really, really beautiful. And I know that I can do something gorgeous with it. So working on the dressing table today, um, I've taken off all the hardware, um, so I'm just going to go straight on and paint. And I'm doing a white and grey effect. I'm going to do it so that um, it's coming up and the grey will mould into the white. And it's not so much a blending technique as... Um, I'm going to be using stencils so that one will literally lead into the other. So there's a bit of blending there, but it's more to do with the stencil effect. Very cool. Um, and then I'll be using stamps. I'll be using a little bit of leftover uh, DIY transfer. It's not the whole transfer, it's just a little bit. What did I say? DIY. DIY! <laughs> Thank you, um, so I'm going to crack on with that while Paula tells you what she's up to. Well, I've been doing lots of mixed media work this week because we've been doing some tutorials in a group on mixed media, which I really like. So this is one of the pieces that I've done this week um, with everyone, showing them how to do it. And it, if, if I show you really close, it's got lots of lovely, gorgeous texture. And I know that's back to front. It says content little angel in there but really like it so that's what we've been working on some mixed media projects i did a mixed media box which is pretty cool it's an actually really cheap sort of i don't know what you call it even what kind of wood it is balsa wood it's just yeah, really yeah, it's thin wood. cheap wood but it's come out lovely all organic so alongside that and when we do our reveal of what's coming up for us, you'll understand why. We've had to do a lot of prep work this week, Manda and I. So... Yeah, busy bees. I have prepped this bit of plywood. Yeah. We use some textured paint that you can see to give it a bit of bump and 
lamp. I've used two colours, a sort of beige and a cream, and then I've stuck some moulds on uh, and a mould there. And then this bit of paper here is an image transfer that I showed the group how to do last night. So the next stage is to do the reveal because um, it needs overnight to cover. I think, Mandy, you're going to have to start this side because they can't see that side Oh, at all. I am coming over that side. I just want to let you chat first. <laughs> She's that's, why, that's why I'm doing this bit. Yeah, Amanda is here. I'm here. <laughs> going to try this this weekend, yeah. So all I've got now is my bowl of water and my image, and I'm just going to gradually rub off the back of the paper and reveal what's underneath. I decided today I was having a little sit down. Lazy day. <laughs> <laughs> While man's is crawling around. I'm on the floor. crawling around on all fours. I'm my hands and knees. I haven't got quite Where as much belong? room as my workshop at the shop had, so we've got to sort of compromise a bit. Hi, Sharon. Sharon's already been doing image transfers from last night's tutorial, and it worked I really saw. successfully. Yeah, well done. Yeah. I was pleased cool. with that. That looked good. So I thought, seeing as um, Love is in the air. I tell you my not so romantic story all those years ago. Too. We actually got married in 2008, but we actually planned to get married on Valentine's Day 2007. And we had booked a holiday to Cuba because at the time I was teaching salsa dancing and I was very into. Cuban music and I really wanted to go to Havana and see the life and see the music. I just love it. I still love it. That's not changed. So we booked a holiday for me, um, Mark and our three children. And really it was the third child being born that got me all hormonal and thinking, well, really we ought to make it official and get married. And I found myself booking this holiday to Cuba spontaneously we went into the travel agent and said oh let's just do it and we booked it and I came out of the travel agent and thought <laughs> good god what have I done I'm absolutely petrified of flying and I just <laughs> booked a holiday which involves a 10-hour flight like what what was I thinking you didn't think that through did you I didn't think it through at all spent a whole year kind of prepping dieting Having my hair highlighted, my nails done, my toes done, my suntan done, ready for this flipping wedding. <laughs> flipping wedding, it sounds really romantic, doesn't it? The kids were coming with us, we were all packed. Um, I had dieted loads, I was really skinny and terrified about this flight. And I'd, I'd been to hypnotherapy, I'd, <laughs> I'd, had, I'd tried all these tapping techniques, I don't even know what they're called, but I was, oh, I was yes, trying I everything and at one point I actually said to hubby, I can't do it, you're going to have to just sell the holiday on eBay or something, you, I just can't do it, I cannot get on this plane, <laughs> I just can't. You nearly. I know, and I'd got myself really worked up about it, so, but anyway, on the morning we got the taxi and I took this huge breath and I'm like, right, we're going to do it, and Georgia was only... I think not She's even quite two, yeah, yeah, she was quite young. Um, so we got the taxi up there and then we got stuck in a traffic jam on the motorway because there'd been a car accident. And literally about 10 miles on from that accident was another accident with a motorbike. So basically the whole motorway come to a complete standstill and there was no other way round to get to the airport. So by the time we got to the airport, even though we had left in plenty of time, the plane was on the runway, ready to go, doors shut. So they said we'd, we'd missed our flight. And <laughs> so there's a little, I, I've got to confess, there was a little bit of me. That's like, <laughs> I was delighted. <laughs> oh, what do we do? <laughs> I've got to get on the plane, it's not my fault. I've got to get on the plane. God's looking after me. <laughs> <laughs> and at that moment in time of course it was all sort of really stressful just couldn't quite believe it was happening after all the prep at that particular moment in time georgia decided to have a nappy explosion from head to toe <laughs> head to toe right. so husband who's not so good at all the negotiating or husband to be at this point um disappeared off to the toilets with georgia while i'm left at the desk saying well surely there's got to be another flight a later one or whatever but turns out cuba only has a flight once a week and you have to be in the country for a week before you can get married. That's the rule. So 
she then says, oh, well, maybe we can get you on a chartered flight and starts looking it up. So I'm sort of, I don't know if I'm feeling hopeful or either way, really, to be honest. <laughs> okay. And then she said for a moment, there might be this chartered flight, but it's, it's 12 hours and it goes via Timbuktu or something. <laughs> I don't know what. It went via some. And I, in horror, absolute horror, I like leant over this desk and said to this woman, don't you dare make my, my lack of marriage my fault. I cannot sit on a plane for 12 hours for oh. anyone. <laughs> You've got to make this option go away. <laughs> like, she it did go away of its own accord because <laughs> it suddenly she became... was scared of you by this time <laughs> so we ended up having to drive home um or get a taxi home and i was just i don't know i just didn't know what to do and when i got home we i contacted the insurance company to see what we could do and they basically told us we weren't insured for that because if it would be our accident then we would have been covered but because it was nothing to do with us we weren't covered so not only had I lost my wedding and all the money that we had paid like I don't know three four thousand on this holiday like there was just nothing left and I just couldn't believe it so I wrote to the local radio I wrote to the local newspaper and then it all went crazy and we were being invited up to Meridian News and the radio <laughs> station came round and we were on because it was this like story of the year it's Valentine's Day I don't think we'd have had half the drama if it hadn't have been Valentine's Day but we were on the headline news for the whole day on Valentine's Day and they actually contacted the insurance company for us and the insurance company decided on this occasion to pay up well, I bet they did. So, yeah, so we got our money back. And then we decided that we just couldn't get married on another day other than Valentine's Day. So we would have to wait a year, which just made me cry because I was just, I can't die up for another year. <laughs> <laughs> I've spent so long dieting. I want to eat. I want to eat. <laughs> but I... <laughs> I dieted for another year and we waited another year and then we went to Cuba and got married on the beach on Valentine's Day in a heart of flowers and it was the best day of my oh, whole life. The pictures are beautiful. I did actually manage the plane. Admittedly there were some drugs involved <laughs> <laughs> of the prescription type. <laughs> terrified. But that's my romantic story. I don't want to put the words Cuba and drugs together no it, you know, it was up. amazing it was the best I, I mean i have been abroad before several times never as far as that and it was just the best oh that's beautiful so it's a good story isn't it to it tell is. the children and I, I even got a magazine deal out of it where they wrote one of those really cheesy stories and i've still got it i've kept it in my memories box and it says and Paula sobbed into her Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> I don't even eat Hawaiian. I just got, Hawaiian's got ham on it. I'm vegetarian. And well, Hawaiian sounds exotic, doesn't it? <laughs> exotic holiday destination. So there you go. Oh, we never knew that. Hi, everyone. I knew that you'd got married in Cuba, and I've seen the photos, and they're all beautiful. Yeah. I didn't know it had been postponed. Yeah, a whole year. About the drama. Drama. You like a bit of drama, don't yeah, you? Yeah, like? I can't seem to get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> it follows you. <laughs> but even though, sorry, I'm chucking this all over the floor and you're having to walk in it. This is That's all right, you keep splashing I'm me with, with water. I'm starting my reveal here. Can you start to see it? It's going to take some time. Right. I'm coming in. These are um, both very chic colours. Um, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> because the chalk goes on beautifully. <laughs> they do go nicely together, don't they? Is yeah, that they do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I'm useless at the names. But this is Kaya, and is it Melia? Yeah. Yeah. That's the is the grey. No, it's Melia. Melia. <laughs> and that's why I couldn't say Melia for ages. You kept saying Melia. That's yes, why. That's yes. Why. Ah, now that makes sense. Yeah. Because you were struggling. Now you're with doing that. it the other way round. Yeah. 
Oh, well, this was always going to be Malia, not Melia. <laughs> no one. I should just change it, be done with it. That might be easier. This is very slow and laborious, but it's kind of worth it in the end, and you have to do it slowly. You do have to be patient Thank you, with Sharon. it. He wrote me a lovely message this morning on my Facebook page to get up to, which was quite sweet. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. I would, in a in a normal person's mind, I would sort of aim to go. I would have aimed to go back in ten years to, you know, celebrate. That's what people do, isn't it? Go back. No, to no, I divorced in ten years. <laughs> no, um. no, I'm not going divorced. <laughs> so maybe you should celebrate. Yeah. Do you know? Because. When I had, um, this is another thing you won't know about me, but when I had Jordan, our first son, um, I got fed up of having to explain to people why we all had different surnames. And it felt like we weren't a family, and I guess I was hormonal. So I had my name changed, my surname changed, to Mark's surname by a declaration deed. It cost me about £20 or something, it wasn't very much, but... And then I could change all my bank cards, all my everything, driving license. So for years before we got married, I was already Paula Wells. But when we went to get married, because we were getting married in Cuba, um, and they, their language is Spanish, I had to have that declaration document translated by a legal team that cost me no less than £500. <gasps> so, and now my wedding certificate is in Spanish because they gave it to me over there and when we when we did our um, you know our vows at the altar thing it was do you Mark Rolls take you Paula Rolls and then the woman kind of choked a bit and said <laughs> I was like what's going on <laughs> it's a common British surname <laughs> but if we ever got divorced in order to get divorced I'd have to have that wedding certificate translated back to English Really? Yeah, before I could get divorced. Palaver. So what? Uh, yeah, so that's it. It's stuck with me. Stuck with you. You're stuck with him. Stuck with each other. <laughs> <laughs> now you do realise that I can't do anything else now. We've got to wait for it to dry. Right, put you back. Um, right. No, I will tell do... a story time. I will. <laughs> tell a story. I've got a story to tell you. I'm going to just turn it so I can do a bit on the sides. So. Excuse me, getting a wee bit noisy. So I need to move these. Um. Yeah, we've got a love in the air theme tonight. I'd love to hear your your lovely stories in the comments if you've got any. Love is in the air everywhere. This will Ma need Amanda's got a vacancy. I uh, yes, yes. I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy. She's single. very particular. I, yeah, I am. So, you know, you've got to be something special. You've got to be particular, I think. And you've got to come through me. What to be better? To be better. And I've got a really long questionnaire. <laughs> That's good. I like you to be thorough. <laughs> yeah. Don't want any just anybody. <laughs> I, I've given up on my um, if only I had a question for my husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only. Oh, let's not be honest. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good bloke. <laughs> Top bloke. Yeah. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. And do you know what? He's made me lunch every day this week. Yeah, he's been, he's made us both lunch. He's yeah. been quite a good service, actually. Because yeah. we've been round, when I've been round here, we've been planning stuff. Yeah, is it time for our reveal? Uh, do you know, I think it was. I think it is. Amanda and I have been approached by a company that organise um, boot camps, craft weekends, craft painting mm -hmm. stuff um, from abroad, from France and Sweden and we've been approached to see if we can sort something out 
to, to work with them. And basically the idea is that the residential weekends, and we found the most beautiful oh, premises. Um, really excited about it, really excited. It's literally five minute walk to the beach from there, down a beautiful, I don't know what you call it, chime? Yes, it's a chime. chime. Yeah. yeah, but it's a beautiful, beautiful walk. It sleeps up to 23 people. Um, we will be able to hold the workshops there too. Um, and the idea for this particular group with the, with the French person is to um, have three days in the UK, three nights in the UK, and that will involve um, Manda and I doing a session on the Friday night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and then a little, trip on, a little trip on Monday out to Molly's Den, which is the most um, the coolest emporium. So it will give you a really lovely sort of morning to walk round um, before you head back home. Um, and then we haven't quite got all the details the logistics yet, but then there'll be a further three or four days in France, going to the Brocante. Yes. And I'm not quite sure what the rest is going to involve, but really pretty exciting. So it'll be like a whole week's... I am super excited. Yeah, now that's booked for... That's going to be the end September, of September. So if any of you are interested in coming to that, by you know, keep your eyes peeled because we'll be obviously posting it properly. Once we've got the full details and schedule. It is going to be so much fun. But now that we've kind of sorted and found the location we have decided that this is going to be something that we're going to try and do at least once or twice a year yeah um for you guys to come down and stay with us and play with us and it's really exciting and i've got videos of the premises and of the area so that i'll be able to post them and you'll be able to see what you'll get and we've been working on these kind of mixed media projects and advanced technique skills so it's all stuff that you can translate onto furniture, but stuff that you can do on the day and take home as such. So it's skills, there's moulding, there's crackle, there's image transfer going on, all sorts. So it will be stuff that you can easily transport home. Yep. And it's just, it, it, it's, it is, it's going to be so much fun. Um, such a good learning opportunity, a great, great way to meet people and, and that know, have all got the same interests. And, and, it's going to um, be really, really cool. You know, I've known people do craft yeah. groups before and they've, they've stayed friends for life. Yeah. You know, this is, why wouldn't you come down to Bournemouth? I mean, it is a beautiful place to be. When we went round and videoed it earlier on in the week, we were like, this is why we this pay premium why, yeah. to, to live in it's, the south of the UK. It's very expensive to live here. It is beautiful. Stunning. Um, and you'll see that on, on the videos that yeah. we're going to be doing. Um, it's it's a beautiful place to be. So if you you know thinking of going on a painting or, or crafting weekend, why not come to Bournemouth? Yeah, it really is super. As soon as I've got final figures sorted out, um, we will be posting it, and you'll be able to book it. There also, the one with the France is obviously a whole weekend involved in them as well, and you'll probably have to book that through them. But we'll be also doing our own individual weekends. Yeah. Which will just be three nights, Friday to Sunday night. Yep, which will be equally as, as, as exciting. I'm, I'm stoked to be asked to do this, really am. I don't know why we didn't think of it before, really, and then we were really flattered that this group had uh, found us on YouTube. Well, I think, I think workshops was always sort of in the pipeline as the way to go. But we just didn't have the premises at the no, shop, did we? It wasn't big enough. It wasn't big enough. So finding those so, premises and, so and this is. being approached and, and it kind of forced us to, to think about do it, yeah. you know, which is a good thing. Um, so we hope you guys will come down and we get to put yeah, names to places. You grew up in Weymouth. Yeah, Weymouth is lovely too. Mallory, Mallory, Mallory. Oh, Mallory, but, Mallory, yes. Weymouth is lovely. We would love for you guys to come and put some names to places. You've all been so loyal and so I, I, we feel like you're our friends. Yeah, yeah, we really do. More than Facebook friends. You yeah, know what I mean? oh, yeah, it's because the... you're there. We're all there week in, week out. Yeah. We're following the stories of people. It's very important to us, and you're very important to us. <laughs> so, so, yes, that's excellent. So, yeah, I've it? had to put the consequence of this, of course, is that I've had to have a man around every flipping day. <laughs> <laughs> It's been hard for you, hasn't it? It's been hell for you. It's been hell on earth. 
hell on earth, frankly. <laughs> I've got one more day to finish costings tomorrow. <laughs> and then I can have a day off. You're so rude. I'm so rude. <laughs> no. So, yeah, so we've been planning and organising and videoing and... Oh. Yes, we've been busy bees and we've been just so excited by this. Yes. Yes, I am. You're interested on visiting? Great, Mallory's interested. Come on down, Mallory. Come on. Bring your friends. Yeah, sounds so cool. And we're totally open at this stage while we're just planning. If there is particular things that you would like to, to learn, Yes. To to, to put some suggestions in the comments. Definitely, because if we can if we can deliver that. Because we are yeah we are we're coming up with ideas ourselves and yeah. that's fine. But equally, if we've completely missed what people would like to learn, then that would be something we'd want to know. There'll be discounted paint and products on the weekend as well for you to buy and go home with, so you won't be going home with nothing to do. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you're going up, fired yep. up when you go. You better bring a big car. Bring a big car, Somebody posted in our group, I can't remember who it was, it might have been you, Sharon, I'm not sure, that they're going to Hobby Lobby to buy decoupage. Did you see it? No, I didn't and see that post. They were hoping to leave having not spent $100 but it never happened it yet. <laughs> $100 on decoupage is quite a feat. Yeah. <laughs> but there'll be plenty but, you of know. Like it. Oh, you know what it's like. Be up to the challenge. <laughs> I must have one of those. And one of those. Right, for those of you that are a lot wanting to see a bit more of this, as you can see, as I put the water on, it you can see the stronger colour. And then as I move on to another area, like here, it starts to go cloudy again. And that's as it's drying, that's the, there's still some back of paper on it. And when I add more water back to it, I can still gently rub away more paper. And this is a little bit of a kind of practice makes perfect situation in that you have to know when to stop. And it will still go cloudy. But then you put a coat of finishing coat on the top and it will act like the water but won't fade when it dries. And quite often when I do these, I have to consider painting, filling in some areas with my paintbrush, touching up little areas that have not, like you'll see on that butterfly. You see there's a couple of holes here. Well, that might be fine, that looks quite shabby at the moment, but if a suddenly a huge bit came off as I rubbed, I might have to correct it. I don't think they're even seeing you, Amanda. You're just... <laughs> she's there. She's scurrying around. <laughs> well, I hit a slight problem. <laughs> I, did, I did consider giving this a coat of... Uh, Zinzar Bin, which is um, a shellac based product, it's a primer. Um, I did think of giving it a coat of this before we got going. Truth be told, didn't have enough time. So it was a case of going on with... Well, have you now needed it? Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing it in oh, parts, bleed through, I'm getting bleed through, um, and it's when you get that yellowy brown, it's, it's like a stain that comes through. So you'll know if you've, if you've ever got bleed through. And it, um, it's very common when you're using whites, Yeah. unfortunately. Um, Especially as Joe Public UK always want everything in white. Yeah. So we suffer bleed through a lot. Which I don't think the US suffer so much. I've, I don't know. I've heard, I mean, I don't know if DIY paint, which is clay based, has less... You know, it's thicker in consistency, I, I, so it covers I it. I think it covers Maybe. better, doesn't it? But also, obviously a lot of the UK pieces are in colour, and darker colours would cover it anyway. In this yes, case. yeah. So it's, it's, the, it's the it. pale colours. It's the cream and the whites. Yeah, and the pastels, you know, they, those sorts of very sort of soft baby colours, really. Um, as a rule of thumb, if I was doing white, I would have put my primer on. See, now I wouldn't, and this because it was me that said to you, I oh, don't, because 
I don't think her whole piece needs it. It's just that certain areas that's bleeding. It is, in which case, you'd be wasting a whole load of Zinzibar on areas that don't actually need it. It's my view. My view is <laughs> different. <laughs> Should we have a row? <laughs> Should we have an on-screen <laughs> row? It's like, mummy and daddy are fighting. Yeah, the image came out really good. Oh, that was what you did for the... Yeah, you can use um, chalk paint to do Im image transfer. Have you ever done that? No, I've, I've heard it, but I've never done yeah. it. Something we must I have investigate. I have done it. How did it go for you? Yeah, fine. This is, you'll get these art companies that tell you that you need a special kind of medium, but you don't. It just needs to be wet. And obviously water dries too quickly, so you need something that well, takes a little while. Go through that with me then at some point. Yeah, it's just Yay. wet, just paint. Just put it onto a, onto a freshly wet. painted. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Then let it all dry off yeah. and... Okay. And that's exactly what Sharon did last night. Really? Is that how you did it? Yeah. Because that came out cool. Really cool. Yeah. Don't be sold on all these expensive products. Right. I will just explain what, what my thought process is. Now that, you, now that I've got the two colours on here. Um, can you see? Can you not see? Can we just dip down for a little? Move it. Yeah, move it down. You've seen me enough. <laughs> I've seen you enough. Right, just going to dip down just a little. Your swivel's better than mine. It's my stand. Okie dokie. Right. right. So, obviously this is only the first coat and I'm going to have to do some priming and blah, blah, blah. But, just to give you an idea of where I'm going with this. So, it's going to be the grey and I'm not going to blend it into the white. What I'm going to do is, using the stencil here, I'm going to be doing some white diamonds onto the grey and some grey diamonds onto the white so that the two kind of they do blend into each other without using a blending technique if that kind of makes sense and that will be done all the way round so that the grey kind of merges into the white white merges into the grey it's gonna look cool it's gonna look really cool um, and then I'm going to go in with the IOD stamps it's going to be sort of quite French, floral, swags. Um, and as I say, I've also got part of an IOD uh, transfer that's going to go on here. Just chucking everything at it. I am chucking it. It's <laughs> going to be Frenchy. Um, because I want this and the matching wardrobe to... Uh, have the wow factor. I want it to have the wow factor. But I also want it to have saleability factor. You know? Um, I love using colour. The, these are actually my two worst colours. If anyone says to me, what do you not like to paint in? It would be white and grey. But I think the, the, the two of them together... Look quite classy. It's going to look... Well, I hope so. <laughs> I sincerely hope Classy hesitate. chick. Classy chick. Um, and you won't be able to see this, I'm quite sure, but that's what I will explain to you. I haven't gone down onto the feet. I've got, taken the, um, the grey down to kind of ankle ankle length, um, length if you think about your own length I've taken it to sort of below mid calf um god there's loads of paper on the floor Sorry, isn't yeah, it's I like it's like up. snow on the floor I just chuck it um because I'm hoping that I might get I mean they're, they're very scratched but I'm hoping I might be able to rub those down and just give them um give the wood its life back so you have got a little bit of wood oh. leading out onto 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 the ground as well so that will sort of be blended into the grey and, and blah 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 if it doesn't work I paint it grey but I'm hoping that the feet of the wardrobe as well will, will do that yeah. same thing um, and it was, some, it was inspiration I got from um, another piece it wasn't Malia's piece who's, who's, she, Malia's done a beautiful set wood. where mm. she's yeah she's, she she's been influenced by wood and the whole look and she's giving it woody woody but she's she's yeah she's it's so it's a mixture of the the original wood paints finishes that yeah. it all blends in beautifully. Um, so it wasn't the inspiration for that, but I, I did see something similar on I think it was Pinterest something. Usually Pinterest, isn't it? Um, and they kept the feet bare, but you know, nicely bare. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Good. Again, um, classy. Yeah, it's a bit sophisticated. A bit sophisticated. Which you know, one which you're not known for. With you. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, here we go. It's I coming on. To be yeah, she's just. 
Can you see there's some quite big chunks that have just rubbed away because I've just been happily rubbing. But I'm okay with that because I'm going to fill it in with some hand painting. But it's, it's given me a really good starting point. And I'm getting quite close to the stage, despite it being quite cloudy still, to stopping. Because I run the risk of it all taking coming off, off, taking too yeah. much off. So at this point, I shall probably come to a stop. And then I will use the matte finish to bring the colour back to life. I just need to go and I get something. <laughs> Excuse me? We need to check on time as well. Oh no, I've got one here. Um, we need to check on time. Has anyone got time? Oh, 20 it's 22. Right. right, I am going to go in. It's still a bit tacky in places, but it's dry enough in places that I'm going to go in with my Zin. There's lots of different brands of um, stain block. And if it's only minor, you can use the matte finish. Yeah. If it's minor, but if it's major, uh, Zinzabar is the best. You can use shellac. I'll find shellac, shellac it's very stinky and it's very bright yellow. Stinky feet. Whereas at least the Zinzabar is white in itself, so if you're painting something white, it kind of acts as the first coat of paint as well, doesn't it? Have you got a staring stick in here? Just use one of those paint brushes there. Yeah. I don't know. I'll mess it up, use something like that. That's alright, they're all only cheapy ones to do it. Right, so can you see the cloudiness? It's it's there, but that's that's as far as I'm going to go. And now I'm going to put a coat of finishing matte finish on the top to this stuff. Or you could use Mod Podge if that's what you've got. I'm going to move this slightly up again now so you can see. I'm staring this um, primer. It, it, it is quite a thin primer anyway. Um, you want to put it on gingerly because it will drip. But where it hadn't been used for a while, it definitely needed. Do you know what I've just done? What? You're painting with <laughs> You paintbrush. My, my new paintbrush has got a plastic cover on it and I've just dipped it straight into the <laughs> finishing. Thought that's it's, a been, it's been a long week. That's a bit odd. Right, here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> Very blue Peter. So, that won't happen on our residentials. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we'll allow you to take the plastic off the brushes. <laughs> very professional <laughs> you might think otherwise yeah. but don't let our lives fool you now we are thinking that this residentials they're going to include um, a continental breakfast and um, a kind of light lunch yes and one of the light lunches is going to be a British cream tea. very British cream tea with sandwiches um, we might do fish and chips or something like that. Well, the, the, the French thinking. component have asked us for sort of like, if, you know, a fish and, si fish and chip supper, haven't they? Um, to sort of... But you're literally 10 minutes walk from the main... It's in a very quiet, beautiful area, isn't it? Yeah. But it is still only 10 minutes to the, lo the closest town, restaurants, shops, and five minutes, and we've literally tested it, five minutes to the beach. It is a beautiful beach. Blue flags all the way along. Yeah. So you've got to come. And it's a sand beach, not a pebble beach. Oh yeah. A Beautiful. So there I've put the finishing, the matte finish on it. You can see it's popped it straight back out. And obviously at the moment it still looks a bit like a picture that's been stuck on. Um, obviously it's flat, it's completely flat. So I'm going to use, once that matte finish has dried, go back in with my paint and a small brush and blend that all in and then I will post a picture of the finished thing 
quite pleased with that though, that's going to be fine, I just need to wait now for it to dry. Oh, you're waiting for paint to dry as well. I'm waiting for paint to dry. Not a lot more I can do. No, I'm just going to go round, give this a quick zoom. Um, <laughs> I had a thought. My mum, last week, after last week, because last week was pretty yeah. raucous. It was a bit raucous, wasn't it? <laughs> Um, so my mum was going around <laughs> telling people, oh, you've got to watch these two, they're hilarious. So I'm just imagining now people what, tuning in to watch us thinking we're hilarious and we're not. <laughs> we're not even funny. <laughs> Straight face. <laughs> it, we have to go with the maid we're in on the day, really, doesn't it? It comes because we don't plan these things at all. We, we, we go plan with what we're going to do. And um, perhaps we're just a bit bantered out this week because I've had them all week. <laughs> she has had me all week. <laughs> Poor love. And I wouldn't wish that on anybody. <laughs> really wouldn't. It's absolutely fine. Which is why I'm single. Right, really. Um, <laughs> so look, Mallory's just said L M A O professional. <laughs> <laughs> Mallory! Mallory, we <laughs> so hard. We so hard, no. We so hard. I'm so professional, I've got my welly beats on, look! I've got my foot because it's so hot She's in here. Yeah, I've got my welly beats on, left for my dog walk. Having a hot flush. It is quite warm in here, but we have to keep the animals out. She sneezes at all my animals. The dog's alright, but the cats, as soon as the cats come in, it's like sneeze. She does sneeze season. really bad, and I've got three. I love my cats. Yeah. We need to get our workshop done outside, and then we'll be fine. We do. So, as far as I can go yeah, at the as moment, as far as I can go as well. So we're going to round up today, and I we will post some pictures when we're a little bit further down the road. Um, I'm quite happy with my image transfer; it's come out quite good. Ooh, I'd love to see your um, attempts at image transfer; that would be really cool. And we will be back next week, probably to work. Well, you may well be still working on the same piece, quite probably. And I'll have to come up with something else small. His hand has been a hogger. <laughs> you can paint my mirror for me. Oh, thanks. Do you know? She did an image. She did a mixed media with me, and well, it didn't go well. And then she she got in such a mood with it that she basically said, "I'm not doing any more. You do it." Basically. So let me show you. Before we go, yes, let's, see, let's see my masterpiece. I kept saying, you've got some work to do on that. And she kept saying I was being mightily rude. But... So here we are. I did this cutting and sticking. So this was... Can you even see that image transfer? Yeah. This was the image transfer that really didn't go that well. Did it? No, it, it didn't. kept coming off because it was too knobbly. And I've had to sort of hand paint it in and then add. But what I love about the mixed media is all the texture. And we've created this with obviously different types of papers and stuff underneath, which didn't really show until I got gone in with the second colour on my finger and just rubbed over it. I didn't put it on with a paintbrush so that it only goes on the top surfaces. And then it's really picked it out as just lovely. So have a go at something like that, it's cool, even if it's you're like Amanda who just shouted at me, I paint furniture! <laughs> I don't do mixed I media! I paint furniture! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good week. Did get <laughs> right. right, thank you for joining thank us guys. We'll see you next week, same time. I did it. I did it. You did. Bye. Bye. <laughs>